Time for launch and to man bunker boiling over. By the time we're done with this, we'll actually know what we're doing. At least one of our crew seems to think they'll get it this time. Never has a single water heater been covered from so many angles. Maybe all this attention will raise them from their D-list apparatus status. Okay, now we're at 160 PSI. It's officially a no-go zone. Anything goes from here on in, so uh, stay clear. These pressure vessel ones are really difficult because they involve tons and tons of waiting and waiting, and it's excruciating. It's really boring. The suspense is killing me. After an excruciating 50-minute wait, they achieve liftoff. <laughs> wow! That was at about 350 PSI. The heater travels in a straight trajectory into the air so high, you could order a pizza while you're waiting for it to come back down. Wow, no, it just came down. <laughs> there it is. It came down like 40 seconds later. <laughs> oh, my God. This was a really serious explosion. Whoa! I mean, even though this is just a water heater, you would be in danger of shrapnel hitting you. You could get severe burns from the steam. And not only that, the shock wave was really significant. I mean, the whole area was reverberating. Adam's just seen the most beautiful thing we've ever filmed on the high speed. Oh, that's one of my favorite booms we've ever done. Just water and pressure. Look up top, you can see the tank breaking through the casing. Boop, there it goes. <laughs> wow. The boosters were separated. Yeah, exactly. You know, what we just saw isn't just about pressure. It's about steam and superheated water. Right. I mean, everybody knows that at sea level, at atmospheric pressure, water boils at 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, but as the pressure increases, so does the boiling point. So, for example, at 350 PSI, the boiling point is 438 degrees Fahrenheit. And this all means that when that hot water heater fails and releases that superheated water, it instantaneously turns to steam. Yeah, and that 30 gallons of superheated water, it goes to 30,000 gallons of steam in an instant. Wow. No wonder it was so spectacular. But there's one even more spectacular way for the guys to push this myth through the roof. Put the water heater into the house. Do we have a house? No, we got to build one. You ready? Damn. <laughs> Where